It is Group B, match two. Or Group A, match two. My bad. Sock versus Colorful. Game one on Amazonia. Fresh new series. Fresh new matchup. Human versus Elf. Sock in the bottom left. It's eight o'clock position. Had a rough first series. Very closely fought between between him and a very strong Soen. Lost in the end. I feel like this is a better matchup for him at the moment, as is for any human player. And I'm sure he'll show us his best. And we got at the top, Colorful. We're seeing him today for the first time. He's been a rising star for quite a while. Has a standout performances every once in a while, but uh, never really seems to fully break himself, uh, break into that tier one scene of, you know, the tippity top of Warcraft. And this is his chance. Warden, even on Amazonia. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see where you're going. Colorful. Wonder if wonder what changed because I swear this was a uh, really not a good map for Warden. It's tough to creep. You can't pull any double agent of war shenanigans. You know you can't really power creep her, and uh, she can easily get rushed. I feel with a tier two rifle push. Definitely do correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems colorful things otherwise. Otherwise, so I'll have to. Uh, See what he what he has to show today. Lightning shield done perfectly. Warden had a moment of a moment of deep thought. And now she's uh, into the fray. Oh my god! Sock with the insta expo. Okay. This is pretty insane. He pulled it. Colorful tried to stop uh, the pull with the wisp, but it didn't work. And this is a big deal already. If Sock can get this up, he might even send his militia back. This might just be a creep. Wants to get ahead, but I feel like he's gonna expand. There is triple farm only though. No fourth farm starting yet. We will see in due time. rushing across definitely wants to stop this she's here but uh, late for the late for the creep and you don't want to see that as as a warden user first map here looking pretty decent for sock at the moment with a very ingenious build genius creep route and colorful I mean colorful 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 saw it coming I guess this is not the first time that this has been done in the history of Warcraft, but it's still very unstandard. And he might have seen it coming, but he wasn't actually ready, as we can see. Chasing the AM, same old story. This is this is a Q Benny Hill te theme moment. A player's force but uh, while all this is happening, there's no damage being dealt to the to the peasants and that's really pretty much what Sock wants. Some shadow strikes. Doesn't even kill this peasant. Socks looking really good. Only thing is, he's kind of lone lumber. But of course, that's going to start uh, changing very soon. Speeds, boots of speed, dust of appearance. There's one more shadow strike. But I think Socks just contempt to run. If he doesn't get blocked and... Uh, Colorful fails. A player's forces are under attack. Now left alone, but there's only four footmen to defend this. 
fifth one coming in. Second barracks, Arcane Vault. Okay. Is this a fish style mass footman? I kind of doubt it. But maybe. Footmen are still coming out. There's no blacksmith on the way. And I mean, he will be low on lumber for quite a while, so maybe that is what he's going for. In the meantime, AM's being annoying in the in the main of the elf. And uh, as long as this warden's level two, and as long as this army is mainly consisting of archers, mass footmen are actually not all that bad. I say that they really are in dire need of defend. A lot of units are dying for Sock. He's just throwing more into the fray. And uh, nicely diving in and out with this AM. He's uh, done his job in the in the Elven main and now he's back into the fray. Warden hit level 3 though. These footmen are still a lot of free experience kind of being fed to the uh, hero. You really don't want to feed. And Sog's just really stingy on wood. Adding lumber mill finally. Staffing out. Gonna heal up some of his footmen. Colorful. At. Uh, now taken to tier 2. Add a treader. Tree of life on the way. Hunter's Hall. He's uh, putting his foot off the gas. Seems like uh, this double barracks footman. Oh, did his job. And Sock is looking good, but again, never count the Warden out. Level 3. Shredder picked up. That basically means the end of Sock's lumber issues. And uh, <clears throat> these double racks are going to be very useful even later on into the game when he uh, opts to go into rifles or even into knights. In any case, they will be useful. So I like this play a lot. If you're going to be greedy on uh, on AZ, might as well back it up later. Sorry, just had to have to update the title. Thank you, Mishra. Again, I, uh, yeah, I forget. <laughs> if anyone uh, has just joined, it's 0-0 zero, zero currently. This is the first map between Sock and Colorful. Currently, Colorful, Sock with a nice advantage, and Colorful's trying to catch up. This will be a nasty creepjack. There's a... Uh, Oh yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Warden's also down to half HP. Cam's full HP. He can run till day's end. And well, Sock. Consider this job well done. He also scouted the expansion. Knows exactly what's going to be happening. Alchemist added. Starting to double pump rifles, of course, Blacksmith was built at the expansion. Sanctum in the back for those uh, oh-so-necessary priests. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is pretty disastrous. Am could just hop in and get a double kill just like that. Oh, yeah easiest kill of his life god colorful yeah this okay he really got caught here with his pants down and the expansion also isn't going anywhere sock with the perfect perfect positioning found the, the exact counter to warden on amazonia and i guess i was right in that sense there's ways to counteract the Warden, and especially on a map that doesn't suit her. And Sock showed perfectly exactly that right in this game. We will see. We will definitely see what's going through Colorful's head right now. 
so I can be pretty comfortable with how game one went. Basically everything went his, went his way. And we're off. Left hand side, it's Sock. Currently leading in the series. And behind our Night Elf friend Colorful from China. China versus Korea here, definitely Warcraft classic. And a gaming classic in general. Okay, Colorful going for the uh, mercenary camp. Doesn't have to mean anything, but to me it's pretty indicative of, uh, of Warden play. It still might very well be Keeper, of course. I mean, this is the most standard creep route you can do in this matchup. But it's I'd say it's 60 for Warden and 40 for anything else. Very safe bet. And one I'll win. It is Warden again. Looks like he is banking for uh, these final two maps that are better for him. He's banking on winning them. Militia Scout. Pretty radical from Sock. Wants to know as fast as possible about this. Tells him a lot, for sure. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe he can do some crazy Gosu Militia last hits. Definitely would be Sock to do it. And of course, the biggest deal probably of all, stealing the Shadow Priest. That's what this uh, peasant is here for. Let's see if he still deems it worth it. Even uh, if it dies. Looks like Colorful's just... Uh, okay. It's happening now. I wonder if it would have been worth the delay. Trying to kill this peasant. And... Uh, You'd get the Shadow Priest, but it would be a very delayed. Oh, Sock. There's so much delay. Finally, the Shadow Priest gets sniped, but creep, creep Camp's on the way. And Colorful feels like he's overwhelmed already. First Wisp, very low. But he's gonna get it under control. Where is he? There's a Footman now. Here. And Sock, no issues. Goes green into uh, expansion. Very logical Creep Prep. He, um... Knows what he's doing. Definitely prepared very well here. Perfectly doing this. And it seems... Oh my god. Colorful? Yikes. <laughs> I... I, I sw swapped the scene to Sock. Because I thought Colorful got this under control. But pretty insane what one footman and one peasant can do. And this is horrible. I mean, this is... Almost, you almost cannot come back from this. You're level one on your warden. Expansion's coming up. He scouted it. Man, I uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in colorful shoes at this point in the game. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Builds a tree of life. Has to pray, absolutely pray that this doesn't get spotted. <laughs> Colorful, not feeling very zen right now. Same as me when I try to pronounce his name. <laughs> okay, finds this. I mean, it's gonna take a while, but there's no human units currently defending it. Bit of a mistake from... So oh my god, wait. Can he... This is... Okay, this is genius. Human players take notes. Oh my god, this is genius. <laughs> stuck <laughs> no way <laughs> he can't blink into it a town is under suck state. repair <laughs> no he's just stuck <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> a player's helpless if he tps back a human force is awaiting him and He's just thinking about his life choices, this warden, stuck here. 
forever imprisoned for 10,000 years. Getting a taste of her own medicine. Well, at least Colorful's expansion didn't get cancelled, I guess. But, uh, everything else is kind of horrible. He's gonna have to uh, suck up all the moon juice now to even survive here. And the tree will get spotted. But it is finished now, so Sock can't do much here. Except buy time, buy a lot of time, buy heaps of time. He's so safe, look at this. Arcane Vault, tech on the way already, Lumber Mill, he doesn't need second barracks. He's uh, very casual about this game right now. Well, I mean, he's not. He's definitely like, he's trying really hard, but I mean, it's not a very uh, sweaty situation that you might find yourself in when playing against Warden. Lots of, you know, hectic uh, hectic things going on. Your expansion getting attacked, your AM getting chased. Hasn't been like that for Sok. It's been very, very chill so far. He doesn't need, he didn't even have to invest into boots. Got a staff. Colorful scouts. Uh, I guess maybe the main or the middle. This will be level 3 for the Warden, for the Warden, and the expansion is actually not gonna die this game, so that's already better for Colorful, he didn't even try to rebuild his Ancient of War, just relying on mercenaries, and somehow, with a huge disadvantage, Colorful is kind of, sort of back into this game. Town is under siege. He's gonna have to fight Players tooth and nail for every attack. little inch of advantage. A little centimeter for us Europeans. If he wants to be able to win this. Gets the anvil, gets the heal scroll. Tech's nearly done. And this will mean some lore assistance. Let's see what Sog's going for. His tech's kind of late. Added that sec those second barracks now. Blacksmith as well. And I still feel there will be uh, a deadly timing going on with like 70 ish supply. With rifles, priests, probably some towers, maybe some mortars on tier 2 even. He can He can do whatever. But this does feel like a tier 2 explosion by the human. And Colorful has to... Oh my god, he teched a tier 3. That is insanely greedy. Insanely greedy. Evaluating that he has the time. And he might be right in that. This Arcane Sanctum is still in production. But Alchemist is already out. These four footmen are pretty oppressive by themselves. And as soon as rifles start... Streaming out, it will get tougher and tougher. For the elf, obviously. Heal spray, muddy surviving. Sock, I think, stole this berserker? Or maybe, well, I think he stole it, yeah. Colorful really doesn't want to lose this full mana Shadow Priest. Ooh, just barely saves him with that one clutch heal. God, if this lore gets cancelled, I don't know how Colorful can do this. And it gets fully killed! It's a disaster. It's a disaster. This one at least cancelled. Yeah, starting them at the expansion. Only logical thing to do. And Sock doesn't bat an eye, just staffs out of here. Nothing else in danger of dying. And so I can just keep this up. There's gonna be an infinite rifles streaming in, basically. Oh, I love the mud golem. Prevents any kills. Oh, this is so nice. 
So, so nice. He saved everything. A player's forces are under attack. And now when uh, when the expansion crack comes in, first thing to suffer is these lores. A town is under siege. Oh my god, Sock finds them again. There's only one lore up. Colorful's at that 1200 gold. And yeah, I told you, these lords are gonna suffer. There's a paltry army by the elf. It's got four units. And the warden is really not at the stage she wants to be barely level four. And look at what's coming. It's just endless. The lore is gonna die again. Not even a single Ancient of Lore unit. Colorful just doesn't get a break this game. He can't even go for the AM. That's that would be his only li lifeline usually. But as a slow, there's is slow. There's an invul. There's a heal scroll. There's a staff. This is just master masterfully done by Sock. And now the rifle, the wall of rifles, can't touch him anymore. Culver really wants to get this mud golem, and at least that goes his way. Seventeen hundred gold, but he's he's not spending it. He's not even building anything from this lore. He finally gets one up and doesn't use it. There we go. Okay. 42 to 67 town is under siege. and there's more coming rifles are one upgraded <clears throat> oh, kill it over venom in effect it's not bad but the expansions down <laughs> that's a lot worse blink on 20 HP again Everybody fighting valiantly. This is a very important tournament. But Sock just about, just a little bit better, the series. He found a way in this matchup against Warden. But it was really, I think, mostly down to the early game. Losing that uh, Ancient War is uh, uh, just a a no-no, big, big no-no. I don't know if I don't know if Colorful expected that militia. It seemed pretty like a pretty novel idea. Sending the militia before the footman just to steal the shadow priest, make life make things really difficult for the elf. It's already a very greedy creep camp, and when you don't get that shadow priest, it's just it's just worse and worse. Warden is very very slowly inching herself to five. But five is not six. That's a thing. You gotta keep in mind with the warden. Priests are getting picked off. Two died pretty in pretty rapid succession. What else? What else has Colorful got? Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Really desperately aiming for any kill that he can get. But the Warden at this point has no more force left in her. Bears. Bears are the answer. That's what Colorful thinks. Keep in mind, he did have a quite sizable bank at one point. 1,700 gold. And then, uh, of course, he got to spend it. Maybe if he somehow gets the five bears, this army is pretty bad against that. But he's got one at the moment. And two more are coming. He has to fight with just this one single bear. Level 5, Warden. 
Alright, next Shadow Strike kills that uh, Berserker. Sizable chunk of experience. I can't believe Colorful is still somehow in this game. Sock in the meantime reaching tier 3. More casters coming in, mortars now. Guessing, uh, oh, he's at 80 already without any knights. Okay, he's got one knight out on the field. And of course there was hope for Colorful with the human being on tier 2. With that bank, I don't know anymore. <clears throat> it's 80 supply, it's knights, it's mortars. And uh, with mortars you all of, all of a sudden have a lot less time to uh, distract the human and get your army ready. 48, Colorful's banking. If he gets a thousand gold, he can get siege. five, six bears. Has to go for the items first. Oh, slow on that bear. If this druid of the claw falls, that's, you know, one third of the elf army. And now with the Blood Mage, Siphon Mana. Blinking in and sniping units gets that much tougher. This position is uh, horrible to fight into for the bears. There's still footmen all the way from early game. Insult to injury. And uh, there might be five druids of the claw. Oh, Phantom Knives retrained. Okay. But. Uh, that's why uh, that's why we got heal wave. One druid of the claw traded for a mortar. Phantom Knives is doing an okay job. Sox only got a single heal scroll, but uh, he's got a big heal scroll in this guy, and he just hit level three. And all the druids of the claw seem to just be uh... oh level six. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Sox, so colorful bled and bled to get to this point, but at this point, it might be too late. One of the rare situations where uh, level 6 Warden doesn't win you the game instantly. There's not enough uh, Moon Juice left. Not enough units, not enough uh, buildings left. Spirits are coming in. But at this point, there's no fight to be taken. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Sock not messing around. If he's gonna lose all his all his army to the spirits, he might as well just replace him with towers. It's pretty smart. Gotta gotta give him that. Another fan. No stats on sock. Skipped out on those. Will mean a oh ooh, AM. It has invul. He doesn't he isn't getting killed currently by the alchemist. But cooldown super low on the heal spray. And now he's pretty safe. A lot of spirits. They're uh, doing a good job at flanking. And also, Sock's not fighting near his towers. He's down to 64. Of course, Colorful's at 26. Basically has no more army left. It's only the Warden. This is a very common situation. Another Priest down. He finally repositions. Now he's next to his towers. Expansion is up, but not mining. Colorful just now saturating it. Can you really do this just with spirits? Just with with Warden? Just with the one hero? These spirits are actually going to clean up the towers. Kind of funny. Ooh, no! Oh yeah, level 7 Warden. <laughs> Dryad gets cleaned up by these Brutes. They also don't fancy Colorful's chances of winning. And now Sock finally gonna realize, gonna snipe this and Colorful calls for the GG. There was no Mortars actually, it would have taken quite a while. But uh, not, not today. And that's another 2-0 today.